Mother's Day, guys. But bad news during Mother's Day. It's raining right now in Maryland, where you live. It's not. It's not. It's not good. It's not good to have bad weather during Mother's Day, you guys. So in Pennsylvania, New York, so it's so in Maryland, Maryland radar on the um on the on the mass radar, it's showing it's moving on the um northeast side across Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, and then New Jersey. So it's really moving. Radar forecast shows the same thing. It's moving on the eastbound in Pennsylvania, Ohio, and then Michigan. But in Maryland, it's really, really raining in Cecil County and Harford County and even Delaware. Showing in the precipitation, the, um, the precipitation is approaching on the water in, in North Carolina and almost in, almost in Maryland. You can see in Pennsylvania on the yellow one on the 0 0.01, it's really, really, really moving. And if you see the, um, the 0 0.08 on the green one, the light green and the dark green one. It's really moving on the really good direction on the, east, on the north, on the north and the eastbound. So it's approaching in the um, Maryland, approaching in West Virginia, Pennsylvania, New York, Michigan, and then in Ohio. So it's really, really moving. Oh yeah, and so the satellite it's showing it showing it's moving, showing it's moving on the eastbound, no, northeast side, and the and the north. So it's heading on the east coast in West Virginia, Maryland, Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, North Carolina, and even Virginia. So it's really, really moving pretty fast. Pretty quick in satellite on the white one is showing is moving. So with the rain, it's it, so with the with the rain, it's not really it's not really it's, it's really cloudy outside. So it's raining and cloudy outside in Maryland. So the temperatures, so the temperatures right now in Maryland we're on the we're on 50s, and then North Carolina is on 70. North Carolina is on 50, and South Carolina is on 50. West Virginia is on um, 50, and then Pennsylvania is on 30. New York's on 30, and Massachusetts is showing it's going to be it's almost 70 and 50 on on the east coast. Indiana and Illinois shows 30, and then Michigan shows the same thing. So we're on over 50s in Maryland mostly. So, so in Maryland we're on 50 degrees. Abingdon 50, Abingdon Proving Ground 51, Abingdon 51, Annapolis 58, Arbutus 52, Baltimore 52, Bel Air 50, Kingsville 51, Charlestown 50, Chesapeake City 50, Chestown 52, Churchville 50, Conowingo 50, Darlington 50, Dundalk 53, Easton 55, Edgewood 51, Elbridge 52, Elton 50. Elkin City 52, Essex 52, Fairley 50, Falston 50, Forest Hill 49, Frederick 53, Glen Burnie 53, Hagerstown 53, Harry Grace 50, Jerryville 49, Jezza 52, Joggertown 51, Canesville 51, Northeast 50, Ocean City 53, Owens Mills 51, Prairie Hall 51, Prairieville 51, Pikeville 51, Point Positive 49. Queenstown 53, Randallstown 51, Rightstown 50, Rising Sun 49, Riverside 51, Rosedale 51, Sabbath 52, Towson 50, Woodlawn 51, and White Rock 51. So what you see right now is, is Co Coaster Flood Advisory in Havity Grace, Northeast, and Perryville. Elton and then Charlestown. Average high 
high in May, we're on 75 degrees, average high. Average low, 54 degrees. Record high, 95 degrees, 1996. Record low, 35 degrees, 1997. And average rainfall, 4.27 inch. So 53 degrees cloudy in Maryland. So it feels like 53 degrees, wind 6 miles per hour, visibility 9.3 mile, barometer is 29.78 inch, humidity 97%, dew point 52 degrees. Precipitation 100%, humidity 81%, UV index too low, and max wind 8 miles per hour. So, so record rain 2.48 inch 2008, average rain 0.21 inch. So temperatures in Maryland run record high 87 degrees 2018. Record low 41 degrees 1990. Record average high 75 degrees and average low 53 degrees. Moonrise 1.14 p.m. Moonset 2.32 a.m. So sunrise 5.57 a.m. Sunset 8.10 p.m. So day, bring, bring an umbrella, it's going to be rain, the high will be 58, not night, light rain is, is expected, the low will be 47. 4 p.m. is going to be, 4 p.m. is going to be rain shower with 52 degrees, 5 p.m. is going to be light rain with 51 degrees, and then 7 a.m. is going to be stopping raining around 7 o'clock, it's going to be 50 degrees cloudy. So that's why the rain is going to be stopping around 7 p.m. And then 12 a.m. midnight is going to be 48 degrees again. So that's why tomorrow is going to be light rain. That's why it says here at 12 a.m. right there. 5 p.m. is going to be light rain. 7, 7 p.m. is going to be cloudy. And then tomorrow is going to be light rain with 12 a.m. 5 a.m. is going to be rain showers. 7 a.m. is going to be rain showers. Rain, 11 a.m. is going to be rain. 12 p.m. is going to be light rain. Here's our forecast. So here's the rest of the forecast. Besides, so I, we know tomorrow is going to be light rain, 55 degrees. So Tuesday is going to be cloudy with 55 degrees also. Wednesday is going to be sunny with 64 degrees. Thursday is going to be partly sunny with a high of 68 degrees. Friday is going to be mostly sunny with a high of 71 degrees. It's going to, it's going to increase. Saturday is going to be partly sunny with a high of 80 degrees. Sunday is going to be partly sunny with, with, with 80 degrees again. Monday is going to be partly sunny with a lower of 75 degrees. And Tuesday is going to be mostly cloudy with a high of 77 degrees. So today is going to be, so today it's going to be, so today it's going to be rain on Sunday. And tomorrow is going to be light rain. Two, so, so two days is going to be raining. And then one day is going to be cloudy. And then sunny and then and then another sunny is going to be going to be two sunnies in a row, and then partly sunny and 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 everything and and the rest. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and even Thursday is going to be partly sunny and 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 one is going to be mostly cloudy. All right, so hope you hope you hope you hope you guys are going to stick with me as YouTube quoting weather. So thanks so much for stopping by. Be sure to like my video, comment me, and subscribe to me on YouTube channel. And as always, be, sh be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram at YouTube Courtney HGTV. Great. So I want you to stick with me as always. Thanks for watching.